You guys, I'm so excited today to be reviewing one of the coolest lightsabers you've ever seen. This is the Starkiller lightsaber from the Force Unleashed video game. How much does it cost? Do they have different models of this lightsaber? And how screen accurate is the design? I'm gonna talk about all that and more, so don't go anywhere. Hey all you Star Wars fans, thank you so much for clicking on my video. This is Finding the Force, where I cover everything Star Wars, including video games, theme parks, and especially lightsabers. If you're new to the channel, don't be shy. Click the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I have some really cool lightsabers I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys soon, including the Emperor Palpatine replica lightsaber, a Kylo Ren replica lightsaber, and even a Darth Malgus lightsaber for all of you serious Star Wars lore fans out there. But all those sabers are really cool and nice, but nothing really compares to an exposed crystal chamber like we have today on Star Killers. If you like Star Wars and you love lightsabers, click that like button so I know all of you guys are there with me. And it also tells YouTube I make good videos, so thanks a lot. Can't continue with the video without thanking Art Sabers. Thank you so much, Arthur. I really appreciate you. I've been working with Art Sabers for two years now. Um, great company, easy to communicate with. If you purchase their products and you need anything, go ahead and hit them up on Instagram is the best way to contact them. So I really appreciate them sending me this amazing lightsaber. Starkiller's one lucky guy. I mean, he's not because he kind of was orphaned, but he has probably the coolest designed lightsabers ever. I even have a buddy who owns two of his lightsabers from the sequel video game and didn't even really know anything about the character, which is why I love enjoying sabers so much. I think it kind of throws out a lot of the Star Wars politics and we just enjoy probably one of the coolest things ever invented. Well, for all of you guys who don't know, you probably might have seen the design of this lightsaber before, but it comes from the Force Unleashed video game that came out in 2008. And I remember playing it 15 years ago. Um, I forget a lot of the story, but doing some research, I have to play this video game again. One of the best stories in a video game period that rivals Jedi Fallen Order. Speaking of which, Jedi Survivor is going to be coming out in a couple of months, and I plan on doing some of my very first live streaming playing that game. So uh, again, click the subscribe button, come join me and watch me fumble around this game and hopefully we're all gonna have a good time. The story to the Force Unleashed is so cool. You guys probably recognize this emblem right here, right? So Starkiller's like given name is Galen Merrick and that's the Merrick family crest. And that's how important he is to the rebellion and the story of Star Wars. I don't wanna ruin the whole story, but it begins by him being orphaned because Darth Vader like took out both his parents and then took him as a young boy as his secret apprentice as Vader was the apprentice to Palpatine. But this guy has crazy force powers and in one part of the game, he actually pulls down an entire Star Destroyer. What? Oh. Leave a comment down below if you think maybe they made Starkiller just a little too powerful, maybe? Didn't even know you could even pull down things like ships, not to mention a whole freaking Star Destroyer. This is his lightsaber. It doesn't matter if you even play video games or know who Star Killer is. This is such a cool design. Do you want to know how I know? Because my wife said so. <laughs> and she's not the biggest Star Wars fan, so when my wife says that this is a cool lightsaber, then you know it's got to be cool. It's going to turn some heads. I mean, an exposed crystal chamber, super rare. I can't even think of another character who has one, but I'm sure you guys can, so tell me in the comments. So how much does this bad boy cost? Let's talk about uh, price and features. Art Saber sells three versions of the exposed crystal Star Killer. So the base lit version of this is 400, the Xeno Pixel is 450, and the Profi one is 499. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the difference between Xenopixel and Profi lightsabers, I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one for you guys. This is definitely the Xenopixel is not only gonna save you 50 bucks, not to mention buying from Art Sabers saves you hundreds of dollars and months of waiting, which I've always told you guys. This thing comes totally packed with sound fonts. Guys, to be honest, I really am torn between Profi and the Xenopixel. 
Xenopixel. This is definitely for your purists. From reading your comments down in my videos, I know a lot of you guys really just prefer the traditional screen accurate lightsaber scroll, which this has. And it has uh, lots of other blade effects and you can even change the scrolls a whole bunch. But this is for the purists for sure. Whereas the Profi can do a lot more fancy things with the blade. But if you guys don't really enjoy that stuff, it may not be for you, right? The biggest kicker is that if a new sound font comes out, it's such a pain to have to plug in your saber and do all the, the flashing and copying and all that stuff on a Profi saber. You just click and drag a file to the Xenopixels. And I think I'm gonna make a quick video to show you guys and share with you how easy it is to add sound fonts to this. When I do make that video, I'll include that probably at the end or down in the description. But it really is so easy to add fonts to this that I really am torn these days by choosing between Profi and Xenopixel. I'm, I'm fighting learning how to program Profi like so bad. Uh, my family and my 40 hour a week job, I just have too much responsibilities going on and I, I work my butt off making these videos. So between all that, I don't have a lot of time to sit there for two hours to figure out like which exact blade profiles I want. But if you have that time and you're a lightsaber hobbyist, Profi would definitely be for you. All right, so before I turn this on and do a demo for you guys, let's take a close look at this lightsaber and compare it to the one in the video game. All right, guys, here we go. Feast your eyes on the Starkiller lightsaber from Art Sabers. Look at this. As you can tell, this is definitely a chrome saber, I call it. It's really easy to find a cloth and wipe your fingerprints after you, uh, after you have fun with it and enjoy it. I recommend doing that. We have these long accents down the grip. Really good sound ventilation. You guys will see how, uh, how loud the saber can get here in a minute. And definitely has all the major accents to his signature lightsaber, including, of course, the coolest part, an exposed crystal chamber. So as you can see, we have the bunny ears and the really unique shape of the emitter, which looks a lot like the Skywalker Graflex saber. Also including, we have one set of pins um, over here. So we, it has a very unique and friendly design that we're familiar with. And we, we got this back piece here, and this, is, uh, this whole setup is a single button activation, which is completely hidden in this back panel here on the back of the saber. We have this one and two knobs, which are in the correct places for the game. And the coolest part, the crystal chamber, which lights up and it does mimic exactly what the blade is doing. So if the blade is a steady green, the crystal will be a steady green. And we have these accent screws on either side of this control box, which uh, really I think adds to the interesting design of this saber. And I think it's worth showing you guys that I love just using this recharge port to uh, charge the saber up, super easy, and it turns itself off when it's done charging. And there is our Xenopixel. Man, so cool. Look at the design of that crystal. But as you can tell from this picture here, I do think that the Profi version of this saber is more accurate to the one from the video game because it has uh, the black section down here on the grip. The upper section of the emitter is metal. Also has that really cool glowing accent of the button in front. One thing I love is that there are three different choices for retention screws to secure your blade. So there's no wiggle and excellent blade depth that looks like it's got to be probably a good two inches. Sometimes I buy sabers to look like the replica, but these sabers are so much more affordable and they look just like your favorite character sabers. They don't have to be just perfectly screen accurate but they are pretty darn close. Okay, all right guys, let's check out some of the awesome sound fonts that are on this lightsaber. Gesture controls. Oh yeah. Oh man. Woo, that is loud. Oh man, I love the flickering red blade because it makes the crystal flicker. Yeah, woo. Flash on clash, blaster deflect, tip drag. So, so easy to use, guys. Lock up. Yeah, feels good in the hand. And, and the thinner section in the center of the saber makes it really pretty decent uh, for tricks and spins. So what you do is you hold the button down and pretend like it's blinking like their other single button activation lightsabers. And it changes the blade profile. Cracked blade. Cracked blade is really cool, but I think my favorite is still the more traditional, like I think they call it pulse, and it just sort of breathes like in the movies. Pulse. 
but you can give any of these blade profiles like a fire blade and it makes the crystal flicker. The pulsing is a little bit subtle. I mean, super loud, you guys. Woo! You'll have no problem hearing this at parties or holidays, outdoors, stuff like that. The teacher. Oh, yeah. Whispers of power. Ooh. Oh, that's different. Yeah. Whoa. Ah, that Sailor Moon was so loud. Yeah, that's got a mean hum to it. Cool. Force effects. Hold the button down and give it a little twist. Yeah. Boom! Force push. Yes. Sweet! Yeah. Man, this thing is so loud. If you guys have only had Force Effects and maybe Galaxy's Edge Sabers, this is gonna be so much fun, you guys. And the Smooth Swing. Oh. I mean. Sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of my video. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to post every Tuesday. Why Tuesdays, dude? I don't know, why not? Leave a comment and let me know what you guys think. Star Killer lightsaber. And also, if you prefer Profi or the Xenopixel. All right, guys, stay safe out there, please. And as always, make sure to have an awesome Star Wars day. See you next time.